Our planet is sitting on a time bomb. Ghana is at the mercy of the drastic impact of climate change, unmitigated sunshine, unpredictable rainfall, and depleting soil fertility, among others. How can the country deal with the threat of climate change while solving some of its basic problems? In a series of human-centered stories, we shine a light on some of the most basic innovative ideas that could help bring change and what the Ghana Climate Innovation Center is doing to scale up these ideas. This is Dagomba, a small community in the Sechera Farm Plains district of the Shanti region. There are electric poles visibly erected in the community, but there is no electricity. Dagomba is one of five communities that the government in 2016 intended to electrify. But with the change of government, that was not possible. 47-year-old Danikini Kojo Kombian has lived here since 2002. And all these years, even before he arrived, there is no electricity. <laughs> The absence of electricity has made living in this community very difficult. Residents are deprived of many social amenities as well. Mr. Combian is positive the presence of electricity will enhance the economic activities of the community and make them feel part of Ghana. The lucky ones in this community have mini solar panels for at least charging their mobile phones. The rest of the people have to trek for miles to the district capital to charge their mobile phones. Now we head to Nyamiyama number one and two, another set of communities deep inside the Sechere Afram Plains. Frederick Texing is the longest serving staff nurse at the Anterik Clinic at Nyamiyama number one, built by a foreigner to address the health needs of residents here and the surrounding communities. He was posted here at a time there was no electricity. In this community, there are farmers. So in the morning, you will never see them unless in the evening. That's when most of the cases come. So, in fact, we always find it difficult since there was no light. We have to use our phones, touch light as I was saying. So, rendering of services was very difficult for us. But a young entrepreneur changed the story of this health facility. In July 2017, Ketsi Solar Power Distributor Black Star Energy extended electricity to this hospital. Mr. Texan says it was great relief and today the facility is able to run a 24-hour service. Storage of vaccines became very difficult for us. We have to run to Drobon, so that's the district capital for vaccines before we come and render service here. But ever since the light came, in fact, we have our own fridge here that we do manage the, uh, the vaccines over here. So there's no need for going back to Drobonso for vaccines and coming back to this place. 
and transporting the vaccine from Dobonso back to this place. At times, by the time you get here, some of the vaccines would even get spoiled. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ever since the light came, in fact, we storing the vaccines here. We just go for them, then we come and keep them in the fridge here. So, it really helped us since the light came. But with electricity supply by Black Star Energy, the hospital currently is able to operate its ultrasound machine and does two prenatal checks on pregnant women. The Sechra Farm Plains area has 106 communities. Joseph Ousu is the district chief executive of the Sechra Farm Plains. He believes Black Star Energy's intervention will turn things around in the district. On the national connectivity, we only have the district capital drop on so hooked up to the national grid. We have 106 communities in Sechra from Prince. For the size, if I want to use that as a yardstick, I would say about half of that number, probably over 50 communities, can considerably be considered for electricity. And out of that, we've been able to secure approval for 28 of them. The private company is exploiting sunlight to generate electricity for most of these communities. Mr. Wusu says it is providing administrative support to the company. We came in contact with Black Star Energy, a private company that is also into provision of rural electrification through solar for communities and uh, we've been collaborating, supporting them administratively to try and bring some form of electricity through solar to our hinter communities that are not on the 28 communities so far approved. Electricity penetration in Ghana is estimated at between 75 and 80 percent. There are however concerns about how some communities have had to struggle to access electricity in these times. Erasmus Beidou is a Shanti Region Public Relations Officer of the ECG. If we are standing the grid, it is not as easy as that. We have the 33 kV, we have the 11 kV before we come to the LV network, whereby the power is just extended to the home shops, offices, and so on and so forth. So we need we build the infrastructure first before we look at the interconnections, and these are not small monies. Usually they are uh, um, donor-funded projects, and so it is done in phases. Ghana, for instance, we, we are between 75 and 80 percent penetration in terms of getting electricity into the communities. Black Star Energy has taken up the challenge to provide mini grids to many off-grid communities through solar. It is filling the important gaps in Ghana's rural electrification program. Nicole Poindexter is the CEO. Our company, Black Star Energy, we um, are motivated by providing electricity to any community that needs it and wants it. And what we do is we provide electricity that is affordable, reliable, sustainable, and um, scalable to any need that a community, a household has. So we're looking to support entrepreneurial businesses in the community and provide electricity and in certain instances provide financing for appliances so that they can actually uh, build businesses that can thrive. 70 households in Mimpekasa, 63 households at Nyamiyama number one and two, Konkori, Kofibekume, Kufubi Krum, Dabain, Katapie, Namibachen number two, and others are all beneficiaries of their project. Customers benefit not just by having light, but by being able to improve their economic well being through solar electricity. In Katapie, in the Hafano North District, before August 2017, residents had no electricity. The Black Star Energy Revolution is one turning the local economy around. 
the community has a corn mill powered by Black Star Energy. Abna Mesuji is a farmer and together with her son operates the only corn mill in the community. Maize is the main crop they mill, but occasionally granites and beans. Abdes' son, John Hafienyo, says Black Star Energy is a big blessing to the community. By manpower, we should use one gallon a day. Now, one gallon we should use. We take with man one feed in a bread. Answer may be a temperature. But if we need a light, then we say the light is here. The juma. But the light is from my time. But ten to four. Next month, but manpower also. And the day we can cry, we must say we need to cry. Be a one point seven. We are not say be a baby side. We take me any. Black Star Energy is providing solar capacity of 28 kilowatts and a storage capacity of 105 kilowatt hours to the Katapia community. It started with a 19 kilowatt system, which was serving 90 households, but currently 103 customers are being served, including three co stores and a mill. In August 2017, when the company started operating in the area, Customers had 16 hours of power from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. However, the situation has changed now. All customers have a 24-hour supply of power. Richard Arthur is the Director of Engineering and Construction at Black Star Energy. When we started the system, we, we uh, looked at the kind of loads that the community were having because we judge it to be a village. But uh, as it stands now, since the energy consumption is going up, day in and day out, people are buying fridges, buying freezers, some are using for businesses. And so we saw the need to expand. And one thing about Black Star Energy, in order to keep our system economical, we try to build it very slow and then we scale it up. So that constantly we are monitoring the demand of power for our, from our customers. And then we use our data to give the necessary expansion that is needed to give the people electricity. Getting electricity alone, watching television isn't our, I mean, our goal. We also want to promote uh, local businesses such as the green mill and then other productive uses of the electricity. And we've been able to provide this corn mill with a 4 kilowatt system. One of our goals as a company is to make our customers feel comfortable using our power. And so we try to translate this into our payment system as well. We are using smart meters. And then our customers use scratch cards to do payments. What happens is each customer that registers with Blackstar Energy is given a unique account with Blackstar Energy. And then when you load a card, the money goes into your account with Blackstar Energy. Now, a registered customer has got a meter number which is hooked to his account. And so when you are using the energy, the meter being hooked to your account tells us that this is how much energy you have consumed for the day. And so the equivalent uh, deduction is made from your account. So you continue to have power whilst you have a positive balance in your account. And when your uh, balance runs negative, your meter shuts down. The moment you recharge your account, then meter is activated. In the face of this, the Ghana Climate Innovation Centre is putting in measures to empower businesses and individuals to go into renewable energy. Ruka Sinosi is Executive Director. GCIC is a green business incubator, like I said earlier. Um, it's a project of Ashesi University, um, led by Ashesi University in a consortium with three other organisations. That's um, EY, Ghana and Sunyang Ghana. SMB Ghana and the United Nations um, University. It's a project that's funded by the Danish and the Dutch governments through the World Bank. We support enterprises that work in five key sectors. The energy efficiency of renewable energy, um, solar power, um, water purification, domestic waste management and also in climate smart agriculture. So it's really about ensuring that um, the economy of tomorrow is resilient and 
we are serving, we're, we're starting that process through supporting businesses today so that they can go the long haul tomorrow. Yeah. Black Star Energy has managed to provide solar powered electricity to 15 communities from four districts in Ashanti region. With the efforts being made by this private company, it is obvious that renewable energy, specifically solar energy, is not only clean for the environment, but also the way to go for rural communities.